Hello, my good people. Here we have another math challenge. Look at this math problem. It's a radical equation, cube root. Okay, so we are having the cube root of, under it we have three times the cube root of 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 three to the power of x equal to three to the power of x all over three. What is the value of x here? So let's go gradually, systematically. So here we're going to take our solution, solving this. Okay, so what we do next, because this is cube root radical, we're going to take the cube of both sides of the equation. So let's start here. We have here cube root of three times cube root of three times the cube root of cube root of another three into the cube root of our three x that's to the power of x rather equal to three to the power of x all over three we will take the cube of this side then we take the cube of this side also so what happened this goes with this this three we cancel out this three here so we are now left with our Three times the cube root of three times the cube root of of our three times cube root of three to the power of x. Everything equal to three to the power of x here. Now what we do next here now is easy. We take the cube of both sides again. So here, here we have the cube of this. Well, take the cube of this. This, we go with this, and this cube equally affect this. So here we're going to left with our three, because this three we also affect this, this power. So we're going to have three to the power of three times our three times the cube root of our three times the cube root of our three, the three to the power of x is equal to our three to the power of x bracket bracket our three here okay so what we do look at this we still want to eliminate this radical and so we take the cube of both sides again so if we do that it's going to give us here bracket to the power of three then we probably increase this this will now give us this then from here this we go with this meanwhile this will affect this, and this will equally affect this. So we're going to have 3 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 3 the times our, oh, uh, yes, going to give us double 3, okay? The times our 3 times the cube root of our 3 to the power of x equal to bracket, bracket, 3 to the power of x, the bracket to the power of 3 to the power of 3. Easy. Again, we take another cube root, which is for the last one, and so take this, raise it to power 3. Then we call it raise this to power 3. And so what happened? This, we go with this. This, we affect this, affect this, affect this. So we're going to have 3 to the power of 3 times 3 times 3, then times our 3 to the power of 3 times 3 times our 3 to the power of 3 then times our 3 to the power of x, this is equal to bracket, 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 3 to the power of x, bracket, 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. Okay, so let's continue here and see what this gives us in turn. Wow, so let's deal with these powers here. So 3 times 3 will give us 9, times 3 will give us 27. So this is going to give us 3 to the power of 20. 7 times 3 to the power of 9 times 3 to the power of 3 then times our 3 to the power of x. This is equal to, we can equally use this to multiply out. So x times 3 times 3 times 3 will give us 27x. We're going to have here 3 to the power of 27x. Now, according to the law of indices, we says that if you have your a times your a, b, 
this to the power of m and this to the power of n. This will give us a to the power of m plus n. So long the bases are the same, and we have a multiplication sign here. So this is going to give us our 3 to the power of 27 plus 9 plus 3 plus x equal to our 3 to the power of 27x. Easy. So let's add up everything here. This will give us 39 here. So we have here 3 to the power of 39 plus our x is equal to 3 to the power of 27x. The basis are the same. Then we can equate the exponent. So this is going to give us 39 plus x not equal to 27x. Move this to this side. This will give us 39 equals to 27x minus x. It will give us 39 is equals to 26x. Divide through by 26, right? So divide by 26, this, this leaves. So we now have, therefore, our x is equals to 39 all over 26. Easy. Okay, so this is the value of x that satisfies the original equation. All right. Now, if we put this into this original equation, is it going to be a strenuous or is it going to satisfy this equation? Now, I leave that to you. Okay, so do the substitution and tell us if it's going to satisfy the equation or is going to give us a strenuous solution. I've done that already. And I meet you in the comment section. See you then. Bye. And we come your way again. Keep winning.